you know, what's going on, man. It's length. We have the true Frenchies. I'm gonna show you how my day be when I'm dealing with my Frenchies. Here's the feeding process right here. This is down there. They love it. They're usually running around the house, but when I feed them, I put them in a the cage and separate them to feed. They usually have to bug out when they eat, you know? This one right here, this is seven. Seven, beautiful. Merle, carrying Isabella, carrying chocolate. Sand, diamond. Say what's up, diamond? Yeah, lilac, fluffy lilac. Carrying Isabella. This one right here. This is Zaza. What's up, Zaza? What's up to the camera, man? Zaza, Zaza's a Merle, blue Merle. She carrying um, Isabella, carrying chocolate. She, she, she's, she's also a fluffy carrier as well. This is Mother. This is Queen Pin right here. This is Saint. She's, she's Zaza's mom. I bred her to Mr. Opportunist. For those who know Mr. Opportunist, that's the dad to Zaza. But there's no why we're here though, man. We're here to talk about Gaia, my new litter. Come on, let's go show us. Let's go show my new litter, man. We'll be back. Put this blue in real quick. They love this right here. All right, y'all, come on, let me go show y'all the litter. The reason we're here. I can take down the Christmas tree. I'm gonna take it down, so. I keep the new litter close to me. Cause I gotta be on me for two hours. What up, Gaia? That's what we're here for, man. We just gave my new litter. She had a litter of eight. Unfortunately, I lost two of them. One the first day and another one a couple of days later. Say what's up, guy? You ready to feed the babies? She beautiful. Yeah, man. When you whelping, you always gotta have your little stuff on the side, on the deck, just in case. You always want the pedia like. What you do is, if they have like running diarrhea, the babies, uh, you just put a little bit of it in a bottle and put add some water, like half and half. But you gotta make sure you get the non-flavored, non-flavored pedia like. You give it to them. What it does is it, it wash out their system, makes them rest. It starts them. It starts them over. Um, gotta have some pumpkin on the side. That also helps with diarrhea. You always gotta have the goat milk. If they're not eating, something's going on. You gotta feed them yourself. You know what I mean? But your best friend is always gonna be one of these. He's always gonna be your best friend. Always have this on deck. See, I have a couple of them. I just keep all different sizes. For them, because what happens is sometimes when the babies are feeding too fast, the milk will come out their nose. They call it aspiration pneumonia. You don't want that happen to your baby. When they, when they, when they, when the milk get in their lungs, bad situation. But nah, now let me go. Gloves. I got gloves and gloves and gloves on deck. You always want to put gloves on before you feed. If you, don't, if, you, if you don't like the gloves, you can just wash your hands thoroughly, you know, or just use hand sanitizer. Me? I choose the gloves. That's just how I rock with them. You want to feed them every two hours. Today is their third week, Sunday. It was born three weeks ago. And I'm about to show you what they look like. Come on, look, they ready. Look at them, they just want to come out. Take a look at them. They ready to get out. They know what time it is. They're, they're accustomed to me grabbing them, feeding them, cleaning them. They're used to it. They're ready. I be thinking they're gonna jump out, but they can't get out yet. So don't don't think they about to jump out. When it's that time, they be on the lower ground. All right, come on. You always want to take a wee wee pad. Clean spot to me. Bro, I go through these things. These and wipes, I go through them. You can go to Walmart, get a big box. Like, comes up for 150, you get it for like 20 bucks. You don't gotta go to Pet Smart and all that stuff and spend all your money on these things. Go to Walmart. Because all you're gonna do is use them and throw them out. See, the guy, the mother, she knows what's going on. She's just waiting. Once I open the case, she just comes out. 
She ready for a time. I just tapped out. Come on. Come on, guys. It's a camera. Don't worry about it. She knows what to do already. She lays down. And I usually just help her sit down properly. Lay back, guy. You always want to pet them. Let them know you're doing something good. But out of the bunch, I got one run. So I keep my eye on the run. The run's doing fine now, you know? I always feed the run first. And I always wipe her down before I feed her. You want it as clean as possible every time. Let's get her a clean rag. Clean her with some hot water. Watch your babies clean and healthy. Name by colors. This is pink. She's the runt. She's beautiful. Yeah, pink. Their eyes just recently opened up this week. She knows what's going on. See that pink? They latch on by themselves, but I like to like, it's six of them, so I like to position them on each nipple opposed to them looking for a nipple. And now when they're all locked on, they do it. They're going in doing their thing. What I do next is, hold on. So I'm gonna go ahead and help you out some. You can tell Blue's ready to go because you'll see it poking a little bit. Blue gotta go. Come here, Blue, you're not done. Usually when you hold their legs back like this, you help them to go. Mm -hmm. But me, I find that when they this when they this big, they start they, the leg starts fighting you back. See, so I just go like this, making them use the bathroom. Go back in there. So from here, usually when they're done, not usually, exactly when they're done, I clean them off, I make them potty, and then one of these is your best friend. With this, I take notes every two hours, well, now every three hours when I feed them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I draw a line, and what I do with my notes is I start weighing them. I need to know if one of them losing weight. Usually I would weigh them before and after, but it's tiring, so I weigh them when they're done. They're barely full. I always keep up for how much they ate. And then when I weigh them, like for example, pink is done. So I'll go ahead and weigh out pink. Pink is the runs once again. At three weeks, pink is shooting at 18.8. 18, 18.8 18, at three weeks. Then I document it right here. Two hours ago, she was 18.3. Now she's 18.8. So I always keep up with um, their weights. I got to be on top of that. Once you start losing weight, something not right. Because cause when they're born... Their waist only supposed to go up. It's going down, something's wrong. Hey, all these puffs, sometimes you get mad, but then you remember you love these dogs. Yeah, yeah.